A three-time Wisconsin's most wanted fugitive admits he shot another man to death over a drug debt. But Kenneth Twyman claims he did it to save his own life. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson joins us live now from the Milwaukee County Courthouse where Twyman took the stand today in his own defense, Brian. Yeah, he didn't. Just about 15 minutes ago, this hallway was full of family members of both Kenneth Twyman and the victim, Tavon Luckett. They've all gone home for the night. Twyman is accused of killing Tavon Luckett last year in a gas station parking lot, April of 2022. And yesterday, it was Luckett's girlfriend who was on the stand. She said she saw the whole thing. She saw Twyman pull the trigger. But today, Twyman admitted, yeah, I'm the guy who pulled the trigger. But he says he did so because he was in fear for his life. Now, this all started with what Twyman says was a chance encounter at a gas station parking lot in the doorway of the GPC Quick Mart near Fond du Lac and Locust. Twyman was going in, he says, to get sodas. Luckett was coming out with pizza rolls when the two recognized each other. Twyman says he knew he still owed Luckett $150 for three grams of cocaine from a year and a half earlier. Outside the convenience store, Twyman says he tried to shake hands with Luckett, but Luckett pulled his hand back. He saw a gun in Luckett's other hand pointed at the ground, and then he says Luckett told him, this is how people die. And when he said this is how people die, did you take that as something serious? Yes. What did you do? Um, something got in my eye, I wiped my eye, took a couple steps back, and I um, fired my weapon. How many times did you fire your weapon? Three. Did you do it fast or slow? Yeah, I did it fast. When you fired the weapon three times, who were you aiming at? Tavon. Now, Twyman ran to a car right after that, got in, and that car left the scene. U.S. Marshals then picked him up three months later in Oak Creek. It was the third time U.S. Marshals had arrested him since 2018. And the jury now obviously has this in their hands, whether or not he is guilty of homicide or acquitted of acting in self, by acting in self-defense. We will find out the jury has broken for the night. They'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. Live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Brian Polson. Fox 6 investigators. Brian, you said there were a lot of people there in the gallery from both sides. Was there tension in the courtroom between everybody? Well, certainly, you know, security here is tight. They are watching people closely, making sure no one has cell phones out. They're watching it. Is there tension? I imagine there is, but obviously security is watching this very closely, trying to keep things in order. Hasn't boiled over. All right, Brian Polson reporting live for us tonight. Thanks, Brian.